right, so this is our um, little apartment in Budapest. Um, it's in the 8th district, which is, uh, I guess, um, what they call inner city. Uh, it's on a, a major road called uh, Joseph Ferenc. Um, no, that's not what it's called. It's called Joseph something. Correct. And, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the kitchen, obviously. You do want to have a little look around. It's got a big uh, island bench with an um, induction stove, which which we did use the other night. Um, dishwasher, tons of cupboards and things. Um, really nice Siemens fridge, which seems to feature chocolate and salami. Um, you know, all the usual things. Um, it's a pretty pretty nice kitchen. So uh, we haven't cooked in it as much as we thought we would, but um, we can make lots of toast here. Um, laundry and stuff in there um, and uh, we'll go through here to the bedrooms. We've got two bedrooms, one's called the gold room, one's called the silver room or the white room. Uh, so this is the this is the gold room obviously. Um, I like it's got the, like a, a leather bed and uh, a full leather wall which is pretty cool and some um, little um, what would they be? Thailand statues, do you think? No? <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I like this chair. If I could take anything home from this apartment, it would be this chair. Um, actually, while we're here, just have a look at... We've got a really nice view out the window of the... Um, the road and the tram line. You can see over there they're um, selling Christmas trees. I think it's pretty warm up there. And double glazed windows, which is really important for my sleep. Um, so, and through here we have the lounge room. Um, really nice white leather couch. I'd love to have one of those at home. It'd be great. And um, big TV, stereo system. Um, it's got a, a sound system that you can control from um, from uh, anywhere. Or I can control it from my um, iPhone. Play music and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, and then here we have the bathroom. Um, the main features of this bathroom are it's got two basins, it's got a massive shower, and I tell you, if you, if you have a, a, a rain shower that big, you want to have a lot of water pressure to back it up because it kind of feels like you're just standing in drizzle when you're, when you're underneath it. Um, also, I like the, uh, the black toilet. <laughs> and uh, and we've got in here uh, a view in here actually. Oh, it's a bit spooky. Got a little um little sauna. Oh, that lights up too. Nice. So so you've been using the sauna, right? Mm-hmm. It's a, it works all right. Yeah. <coughs> It's not even vinyl, it's fabric. And, I, and um, I don't know if you've noticed in the, the ceiling, there's like this amazing kind of... Um, I wonder if it's an original ceiling. Would be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the 
light room. And out here we've got our little disco hallway with the um, LED lighting. It's um, I'll give you a demonstration in a second. So the, the lights, the lights are uh, remote control operated. Let's see if I can, you can change the colours. Like this, and then you can also add music to it. It's in a hallway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of that. We're going to hear that. Um, so that's it. That's the, uh, the Budapest apartment. Pretty cool, wasn't it?